Wow. All right, hello from North Dakota. This is literally our backyard right now. It feels pretty good knowing that we're gonna stay here for probably a week instead of moving every single day, so. But if you guys are new to this channel, then what took you so long? Been waiting for you this whole time. After traveling for about a month, these are the most breathtaking views that I've ever seen so far during this trip. I think the number one thing that we learned so far is that it's not as easy as it portrays at all. It's very hard living in a bus, let alone doing it with someone else, which definitely has its pros and cons, but it's not easy. And number two is the money aspect, because living on the road is not cheap, especially gas nowadays. It's ridiculous. Oh, and just for a little perspective of just this past month of how much we spent on gas, because we do keep track, I think it was around $1,300. That being said, we did travel a lot. We traveled close to 10 states so far, and we don't really expect to do that all the time, but still, that's a lot of money. But it feels good to actually finally be in a somewhat remote spot that we can stay for at least a week. Shit, maybe even two weeks if we want to. Mmm, that's fresh. Try a piece of watermelon. Try that. It's okay? Come on, it's fresh. Well, right now, just getting ready for the week, doing Sunday activities. And for those that are, you know, asking, I, I do have a full-time job. I still have to work while doing this. So, Sundays are a pretty big day. Getting situated, finding our home for the night, which we did right here. This lifestyle isn't as glamorous as a lot of people make it out to be. And hopefully I can share that through these videos. But there are definitely pros and cons for sure. Yeah, I can't get over that view. But I think tonight we're gonna put up the projector, watch a movie tonight, maybe do some yoga a little bit later. But for right now, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done in a while. I haven't used this guy in close to a year. Oh. Now what? Wanna do some yoga? I hate this pose. And then bend your knees. Fuck. Cat. Tall mount. Forward fold. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Halfway lift. Chaturanga. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Shit, this is a workout. Chaturanga. Chaturanga? I wasn't doing that. Chaturanga. <laughs> oh! That didn't sound good. That didn't sound good at all. Now shift your weight forward. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, dude, that's hard. There you go. There you go. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, see, you know there's yeah, like boy. a difference that makes? Like... Yeah, it is core. Yeah. Need help? No, no, I got it. Nice. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Lil, help! <laughs> Lil, help me out! I got you. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I'm doing it! <laughs> <laughs> Namaste. Right now I'm gonna make myself a little protein shake. I think we're gonna go watch a movie outside. Take out the projector. Haven't done that yet, which would be pretty cool. One thing I did notice is that the sunsets in remote places are like 15 million times better. Another thing we've been running into as well 
is the time difference. Like I said, I do work a full-time job. I do have to pay for this somehow, which, you know, hopefully in the future this will pay for, you know, this whole thing. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. But I do have a full-time job, and I got to wake up at 7 o'clock, which is 9 o'clock their time. So that sucks, but, you know, I still get done at, like, 3 o'clock, which is pretty cool. And then since we're still going west, we haven't even hit pacific time yet which is three hours behind so that's gonna suck waking up at six but we are done at two so you know win-win but i gotta pick my battles here waking up at 5 30 in the morning to go to work at six sucks but at the end of the day i don't think i would trade anything for this view there's no money in the world that could trade that it's pretty good but for the rest of the night we're gonna chill out, maybe put up a projector a little bit, watch a movie. Yeah, get it. Yeah, keep on moving on. Lay flat, lay flat. Okay, the wind might be a problem. Be good. That's gonna happen sometimes. <laughs> Look at that. Still a little windy, I know, but that's as best as it's gonna get. God, this is gonna be so sick. This is gonna go everywhere. I know it is. Nice. Yeah, you just gotta find even ground here. You probably adjust it though. Yeah, we're not on stable land at all. Wow, that's better. That's actually better. All right, this is the current situation. It took about an hour and a half just to set all this up, but this is really it. 50 First Dates, great movie. If you haven't watched it, you're missing out. Adam Sandler and everything. But these are the views. Ew. Dude, Adam Sandler rocks. Alright, I don't know if you can really see me right now, but I'm going to enjoy the rest of this movie, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of this view. So, that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next video. Ciao.